Sir Mike reporting for ASUCast.com live at the London Eurovision party with the Irish representative Ryan Shaughnessy singing together. Welcome to London. I, Thank you. This is not your first time in London. No, it's not. No, and I love uh, I love this square. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful day. So yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? A little it? chilly though. Yeah. It's not chilly. It's okay. You're Irish. It's colder over there. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So. Uh, Give me some clues on what you're going to be doing for staging when you get to Lisbon because I'm it's quite be a thin, simple, effective song. So. Yeah, I'm going to be singing the song. Yeah. Um, ho <laughs> hopefully, and okay. that's all I can really tell you right now. Okay. Because we're still we're still thinking about uh, different ideas of of how we're going to put it on, but um, yeah. it's it's looking really it's looking really nice. Yeah. So you've been involved in a lot of TV shows like Voice of Ireland and Britain's Got Talent and things like that. Do you think that's going to help you with the Eurovision? I think so. You know, I've got a bit of a following in in the UK and um, around Europe too. Yeah. So. I I hope they come out and vote for me on the night, yeah. which would be really nice. Um, and yeah, like I love to perform and I love to um, to get on big stages like this. It's a bit of a challenge for me, you know. Um, I like to just if I can set these goals and set these challenges and then go out and do them. Afterwards, I look back and I'm like, whoa, look at that! Like so. And you also have support from your family because your, your uncle was on stage yeah, before. And, your and you spoke to him. I spoke to him. I met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's amazing. So, yeah, it was a long time ago for me, but yeah. Did he? Did he give you any advice? Or? It's funny. Uh, other people have asked me this, and um, yes, he told. I was at my cousin's wedding uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he came over to me. He's like, Ryan, whatever you do, don't overperform, because <laughs> he because okay. he feels like he overperformed on the night. Yeah. So I was like, okay, because my uncle's hilarious. Like he's very dry. His humor is really dry, as you probably know, and. Uh, Every Christmas we do, he gets out the, the karaoke machine and we have karaoke. Okay, <laughs> tell me more. And he and we always push him to sing "Without Your Love," yeah. and he does it every year. He so, did. He did good. He did a good job on that. So, and I'm sure you're going to do a fantastic job on together. Just one final question for me: the the video caused a little bit of a stir and controversy. Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, uh, for some reason, um, people started to ask, "Why is there two guys in the video?" Yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, why not? Why not? You know, and as, as I scrolled down, a lot of people were wondering, is this like, is this an, an idea, or how did this come about? For me, I, I just picked two of the best dancers I know, and I said, would you be in a video? Yeah. I never had this thought. I know one it. of the dancers as well. He was in the Eurovision ah, stage. Ah, yes, well. Alan. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He so, was in, uh, 2013. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Alan's gonna be like, he's 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 really cool. Yeah. Um, and I got the two guys involved. And Kieran Connolly did the choreography for it, and my friend Christian Tierney did the videography. So I had a really good team of yeah. people to get together to do it. But it did it caused a bit of controversy. And what I think it has now highlighted is that there's a bit of like homophobic um, ten tendencies in, a, in in a lot of other parts of the world uh -huh. um, that I wasn't I wasn't aware of. Because right. okay. um, as coming from Ireland in 2015, we had the referendum yeah, on same-sex marriage. Now, you, know, you know, and it has th things have changed a lot, and it's just uh, everything the rest is. Of the world needs to catch up with it's the UK now. Yeah. Well, well, but, you know, but the way I look at it is to each their own. And if you if your country wants to think this way or that way, it doesn't matter. You like think about some African countries. There's a lot of weird things going on around the world. So, okay. um, in the Western world, we we're really we're really kind of we we live in our own little bubble yeah. of um, of how things should be. And uh, for me, I just saw that as uh, all this um, kind of homophobic um, rants and stuff people were, people were making. I just thought it was it was hilarious, yeah, yeah. and it's actually, as I said, it's highlighted how different other countries are, which which I think is a good thing. It's a good thing for for the homosexual community and the LGBTQ. Community. On that note, I think we will wrap up. Thank you well, very you much for your time. And would you just sing a little bit of together for me? If you sing it with me. No, I can't. Sing. <laughs> this is why I'm this side of the camera. So we were drifting like two icebergs out on the ocean, and I was doing all I could to keep you close. There were trouble in the water you swore it was nothing you said that we would always stay afloat cool. thank you so much enjoy the show tonight and we will see you on stage in Lisbon okay. in a few nice weeks thank, thank you mate. so much cheers Hi.